Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of us we have a new pick kit from Sparrows. And no, my hands haven't got extraordinarily large since you last saw them. This is a sort of a mini finger pick set to slip in your pocket. And uh, it really is quite small. Look at that compared to the palm of my hand. Uh, fits in a uh, jeans pocket or even the watch pocket in my pair of jeans I'm wearing at the moment. It's, it really is quite small. Um, how small? Well, the dimensions are roughly nine centimeters by six centimeters by, if you, you know, squash it down, so if it's in your pocket, somewhere around one centimeter thick. So about the same size as a few playing cards stacked up. Kind of cool. What do you get in it? Well, I suppose the first things to discuss the case. Very nice little nylon case there. They call it the mini tux, so it's a mini tuxedo case. Um, nothing wrong with that. They they are. They, they wear quite well and um, they they do flex quite nicely so they don't really damage your clothing I found which is quite nice uh, inside then inside hard to know where to start but I know your eyes are looking at this lovely knurling on these tension tools and you get a really nice bunch of tension tools really cool to see in a small kit like this a load of top of the keyway tensioners but they're not just top of the keyway so you do have um, obviously the long side and the short side. But you can see here that some of these are definitely designed for top of the keyway. I've got these lovely micro serrations. This is for obviously a deeper set uh, lock and a shallower set lock, whereby the core is set deeper into the lock, say a padlock or something like that. But these ones, so you have a totally flat bar. I found this quite useful in a number of different locks. And this one, which is top of the keyway and flat, but quite useful for bottom of the keyway tensioning these flatter ones which aren't designed for hooking at the top of the keyway. If you still don't think these five tension tools, which are different thicknesses, are enough, then of course the case will accommodate more of your favourite tension tools. You can see that they are of a similar size commercially available ones, or you can just make your own out of wiper blade insert. Either way, it will take more if you need it. I did mention there were different thicknesses, and you can see here, if I put them end on, they are indeed, and they range from, uh, from my measurements, 29 thousandths of an inch to 40 thousandths of an inch. So there you go, you can see the different thicknesses there with the thicker and the thinner tension tools. The knurling is really nice, actually. If you do have something viced up, and I or um, you can hold it in your fingers, but I, if I like to pick in hand and I rest my thumb, it's really nice and, and, and grippy. I would like to see this on a lot more tension tools, actually. I just like the design of it. It certainly doesn't detract from any feedback, and I think it looks great. So, um, yeah, more of this, please. So let's put these to one side for one second, and let's explore the picks. The picks are very much what you'd expect, and I don't have any complaints with the profiles at all. I think for a lot of people, if you took the average of what people like, um, this is a great set of six picks and rakes. So, of course, we have the City Rake or the L Rake, an absolute classic. Small half diamond, really nice on those like luggage locks and um, anything with a shallow bitting, wafer locks and such like. I think they call this an offset hybrid, correct me if I'm wrong. Very nice, it's like a half diamond short hook cross. The ever excellent Triple Peak Bow Guitar, not a Bow Guitar, a Bow Guitar. Then we have uh, one of my favourites, actually, the Sparrow's Worm. Love scrubbing with that one. Uh, locks, not my body. And, of course, the excellent Sparrow Short Hook, one of my favourite profiles. If I could add something to this, or maybe even swap out the Half Diamond, which I'm not really a big fan of myself, it would definitely be for a medium hook. I just think a tiny extra bit of reach, that would be excellent. Other than that, though, no real complaints from me. And I do love the handles on these. So they're 25 thousandths of an inch made of the same steel as all the rest of Sparrow's picks, which is really lovely and strong. And these are designed to be held in your fingers, so of course this is a wonderful design, but it's practical because it allows some excellent grip in there when you're picking. You don't lose a lot of feedback either. Um, maybe not as comfortable as a long handle pick, but that isn't what these are designed for. These are designed for like a little backup kit to carry around. And for that purpose, I think they're really excellent. I actually really like this design. I think it reminds me um, of two things, a spine, and also um, the nucleotides of a helix of DNA just wrapping around. Really like that. 
Okay, uh, let's try and pick something then using the kit. I'm gonna pick on this little Maslock M1 and something to tension it with. I'm just gonna grab one of these at random. Um, oh, it's already picked, I think. Let me turn it around. How dare you be already picked? Then again, a lot of locks in my house tend to be in that state, or at least I've tried to put them in that state quite a lot. Okay, that's that, that'll do. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Let's see if I can pick this. So pin four, pin three, pin two, and we're open. So there we are, that's the Sparrows Nightcrawler set. Um, I really like it actually, and what I was thinking was that when you compare this to say a jackknife pick set, it's a very hard choice for me actually, because I, I quite like the idea with a jackknife you might be able to put on a key ring, and then on the other hand, the extra sort of length on these and the feedback is sort of better, plus you have somewhere to put all your, your tension tools and some of those uh, jackknives actually come with their own like little case for the jackknife anyway, so I don't know, it's a really tough choice. I think I think for me, my own personal use, I'd probably go for something like this over a jackknife. Let me know in the comments what you would do. What would you prefer, a small little mini pick kit like this or something like, uh, you know, a pocket jackknife set. Let me know, I'm really, really interested, genuinely. Okay, hope you found that little review really interesting. Go check this uh, kit out at Sparrow's website and I'll see you all next time.